Imagine a calm morning at Yellowstone National Park. Thousands of tourists are gathered, cameras ready, waiting for one of nature's most spectacular shows, the eruption of a geyser. Suddenly, the ground trembles. A deep rumble rises from beneath the earth. And then, in an instant, it happens. But this time, it's not the usual fountain of steam and water. This time, the geyser explodes with terrifying force, launching superheated water, scalding steam, and massive rocks hundreds of meters into the sky. A geyser forms when rainwater or snowmelt seeps deep underground, where it meets extreme heat from magma hidden far below. The water becomes trapped in underground chambers under immense pressure. Superheated, hotter than boiling point, the water waits. And when pressure is finally released, it flashes into steam and bursts upward in a spectacular eruption. Yellowstone is home to more than 500 active geysers, including Steamboat Geyser, the tallest in the world, which can blast water over 100 meters high. Now imagine an extreme scenario. The underground channels clog with minerals. Pressure builds and builds until the earth can no longer hold it back. Then, boom, a violent hydrothermal explosion tears through the surface. This isn't just steam and water. It's rock, earth, and mud hurled skyward. And this isn't just theory. Yellowstone's landscape still carries the scars of such blasts. Massive craters, some more than a kilometer wide, are the remains of hydrothermal explosions from thousands of years ago. First, a colossal jet of scalding water and steam, surging hundreds of meters into the air. At over 150 degrees Celsius, contact would be instantly fatal. Next, flying debris. Rocks and chunks of earth would rain down like natural bombs, striking with deadly force. And then, the human cost. Yellowstone draws millions of visitors every year. If a blast struck at a popular site, thousands of lives could be at risk. The local ecosystem would collapse. Trees burned, wildlife destroyed, and the land reshaped in a matter of seconds. But the destruction wouldn't stop there. A massive explosion could carve out a brand new crater, altering Yellowstone's landscape forever. Toxic gases, such as hydrogen sulfide, could fill the air, dangerous to anyone nearby. Fine ash and dust would drift into nearby towns, polluting the air. And underground, the delicate system of water channels would shift. Some geysers might die out completely, while new geysers could suddenly be born. So could this really happen? The answer is yes, but rarely. Hydrothermal explosions have occurred before in Yellowstone, though most happened far from crowded tourist areas. Remember, Yellowstone is more than just a national park. It is one of Earth's most powerful volcanic systems. Compared to a supervolcano eruption, a hydrothermal blast may seem small. But scientists warn, it's one of the most realistic hazards we could face in the short term. And imagine the nightmare. If such an explosion struck at Old Faithful, the world's most famous geyser, watched daily by thousands of visitors, the results would be catastrophic. So what would happen if a giant geyser erupted in Yellowstone today? We would witness an enormous fountain of boiling water, deadly rocks raining from the sky, wildlife destroyed, and even the birth of a brand new crater. The good news is that scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory are watching closely. They monitor geysers, hot springs, earthquakes, and even the rising and sinking of the land, searching for warning signs. But geysers remind us of something greater, that the Earth is alive. Beneath the beauty of Yellowstone lies unimaginable power, waiting silently until the day it awakens. And the question we must ask is simple. If that day comes, Will we be ready?
But geysers are only part of Yellowstone's story. Beneath the surface lies something far larger, far more powerful, a supervolcano. Yellowstone sits on top of one of the biggest volcanic systems on Earth. Beneath the park, a massive reservoir of molten rock stretches for tens of kilometers. Imagine a chamber of magma so vast, it could fill the Grand Canyon several times over. This hidden giant is the true engine behind Yellowstone's geysers, hot springs, and steaming vents. Yellowstone's volcanic past is written in stone. Over the last two million years, it has erupted three times in cataclysmic super eruptions. Each time, the blasts were so massive that they reshaped entire regions of North America. Ash clouds spread across continents, blocking sunlight and cooling the climate for years. The largest eruption, about 2.1 million years ago, ejected more than 2,000 times the material of Mount St. Helens. The craters left behind, called calderas, are so huge that visitors standing inside them today often don't even realize they're in a volcano. So, could Yellowstone erupt again? The short answer is yes. But scientists believe a super-eruption in our lifetime is extremely unlikely. Instead, the park is more likely to see smaller events, like lava flows or hydrothermal explosions. Lava flows from Yellowstone's past were destructive, but far less devastating than a global-scale eruption. Hydrothermal blasts, like the ones we imagined earlier, are far more probable in the near future. Networks of seismometers track tiny earthquakes. Satellites measure how the ground rises and falls, sometimes by centimeters each year, as magma slowly shifts below. Geothermal sensors study water chemistry and temperature, looking for sudden changes. Every tremor, every puff of gas, every shift in the ground is carefully recorded, because even the smallest change could provide a clue to Yellowstone's future. To better understand Yellowstone, scientists have built one of the most advanced monitoring systems in the world. Networks of seismometers track tiny earthquakes. Satellites measure how the ground rises and falls, sometimes by centimeters each year, as magma slowly shifts below. Geothermal sensors study water chemistry and temperature, looking for sudden changes. Every tremor, every puff of gas, every shift in the ground is carefully recorded, because even the smallest change could provide a clue to Yellowstone's future.